Hi, this is Olivier Ngokte from YPLS Kigali and welcome back to our tutorial videos about basic pneumatic circuits. In previous video, we talked about control of single acting cylinder, including its speed control. In today's video, we're going to talk about different logic operations like OR logic, AND logic, NOT logic, and memory logic. We will get to know the difference between direct and indirect pneumatic circuit. Before we get started, I would like to thank everyone who subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. This is a huge support. I also thank you for watching this video. And if you have not subscribed yet, please hit the red button to be the first to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Thank you very much. Hope you understand the difference between meta in and meta out and how to control the cylinder in both extension and retraction when it is a um, single acting cylinder. So basically, let's see now the different logic that we, have, we can have in the pneumatic by controlling the single acting cylinder. Okay, we start by OR logic. So we shall now remove one. And uh, let me say that that's going to be connected there. And then we shall just copy this. Control C and then Control V. We paste it here. And um, if you want, we can just use one supply. And then we have to go back to look for the shuttle valve. And um, that way, we connect to that way. I'm going to move this to here. So that means that if we use this supply, and that's this, if we can be able to control the single acting cylinder. So which means this is the all. And uh, both supplies can be used, okay. And uh, if you try to make a truth table, we can say that this is zero zero. Then this is zero at zero zero, no extension. At zero and one, then we have extension. At one and zero, we have extension. And at one one, we shall have extension. And uh, to be possible. We are going to use the push button with a detent. I want to use push button with a detent. Okay. So now see, at one one, we have the extension, which means if you release only one DCV, the cylinder will stay extended because it's all. And uh, when it is earned, we change this all from all to uh, we change from all to and so we use this and logic okay then we can copy all of this select all copy and paste then there we go i'm gonna clean this and then i'm gonna put this and so there we go Again, you see, this is all and this is and. And um, if at zero, zero, no extension, zero, zero, no extension. At zero, but one, we have extension. At zero here and one, there is no extension because this is all and this is and. So I'm just trying to show you the difference. Now, let me release back this. At one zero we have got extension because it is all at one zero no extension but at one and one we still have extension and with one and one this time we can have extension so this is and logic and this is our logic you know that for the and logic we shall have the output if both sources are high or are supplied but on our logic only one is enough to have the output so hope you have understand the difference between our logic and and logic now let's see the not logic here the two circuits are similar so we have the yes logic which means if no activation, then the cylinder will be retracted. But if we change this to be normal open valve, see, I'm changing the internal construction. So if you'll, you see the difference, 
this is normal closed because port 1 is closed and this is normal open because port 1 is connected to port 2 so if i supply then you can see that this is not logic just because if you don't activate then the cylinder will extend which is different from the first case for the cylinder to extend here on yes logic you have to activate otherwise it will be uh, retracted which is different from this here if we activate then it comes back for retraction that's uh, the difference between not and yes logic so i'm going to show you the difference between um, direct control and indirect control so let me set back uh, to the push button and uh, I'm gonna say that's no and it's going to have a pilot this is a direct and uh, this is going to be indirect because we are going to control this DCV with another DCV so there we go we can just copy this copy and paste copy and paste then we're just going to adjust this okay okay and then i'm gonna go to there and then i'm gonna say this is a pilot or control line and then i'm going to set this to be no more closed it's no more closed and it's going to be controlled manually by let me say by lever it's, a, it's an example and this guy is going to be also no more closed it's going to be no more closed well this is a direct control just uh, because um, we actually have one dcv and uh, it is the same dcv that controlling this uh, single acting cylinder so this is direct control so we are directly controlling the cylinder using this dcv and on the other circuit this is indirect control just because to control the single acting cylinder we need two dcv the main dcv and the control dcv so the main dcv is being controlled by another dcv so let me control if I press this, you can see that it's moving. And on that side, we control the DCV with lever. And then the output of that DCV goes to be the input to control the main DCV. So by releasing, the air from that cylinder will go back to outside. Let me control it once again. So hope you guys have understood that there is a difference between direct control and indirect control. Now, uh, let me tell you that we might have um, another logic like um, memory. What the difference between memory DCV and uh, uh, offset DCV? So this is offset DCV and this is an offset DCV and it is offset because when it has got two position with a spring which means that you need one signal to change the position by removing that signal then the spring will take it back to the initial condition the same here this is an offset you see by releasing the spring takes back to the normal condition and the same here if you change the position the, the spring will reset back so what if we put another dcv like this i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it around here and then i'm going to change this dcv uh from spring and then i'm going to put another pilot you see it has got two pilots okay then i'm going to set this control line so this time you can see this is a memory dcv because no spring it is different from the two so this is a memory dcv because no spring on both sides you supply a signal here just for extension you see we are no longer supplying but it is maintaining that signal to return back we can just apply a little force here to supply that's a little pressure to change back the position so that's memory that's why we say it is memorizing so you can call it memory dcv or you can even call it a uh, be stable it's a be stable dcv and uh, this is mono stable just because uh, it has got a reset spring here it has got a reset spring and uh, this is a uh, be stable because no spring here and no spring here and it has got to position going back to the automation studio so let us control the or logic when we want to control the or logic we always need to use the same dcv another dcv just like a three port two position and then i have to go to pressure line and then i have to link this pressure line to there and then i will have to look for the all 
logic so the all logic i can just take it from this logics so i'm going back to the pneumatic line pressure lines and i'm gonna link this to here and i'm gonna connect that to there then i'm gonna press if i press here you can see the cylinder is moving and when i press here the cylinder is moving so that's all so if we can put the and just matter of coming to the logic then we put and let me say that i'm gonna put that and let me put out that and then i'm gonna connect this guy see it's not moving the same here, it's not moving but if i can be able to to set the dcv and then um, I'm going to say that um, I have to delete this and I'm going to put the lever with the, with the details. Then I'm going to say if I press here and uh, it stays there because of detent, then when I press here, now it can move. That's what we call AND. But there is another way that we can control the AND using AND or, or logic just using um, shuttle valve or the pressure control valve. And that's what I'm gonna do. So let me show you how to do it. You can go to pneumatics. So we have to come to flow control valve, and then we put um, shuttle valve, and then we have to go to pneumatic again, pressure line. And then I'm gonna connect pressure line from here, from here to here, and then from this to that, and from that that then see what i have when i press here the cylinder will extend when i press here the cylinder will extend when i press both again the cylinder will extend which means when i release one the cylinder will not come because it's all uh, try to see what is inside this kind of valve see when we use this uh, push button the air will force this piston to move on that side and then the air will enter from this port one to port two so if we release and we use that one again we have the air which you are going to push that piston on that side and then the air will come to here so that's exactly what we have when it is working that way okay so let us put now the and again we go back to flow control valve and then we bring the and logic so we're gonna replace the and logic with that so we put the and logic and at zero zero no extension at uh, zero one no extension at one zero no extension but when both uh, dcvs are activated see at one one both dcvs are activated and the cylinder is now extending so what do we have from inside see try to see what we have from there if we release one this pressure will be closed here because uh, the pressure will push this plunger on the left side and it closes the path itself the same happens when we select the other side the pressure will push this plunger on the right side and it closes the path so there's no output but if we press both both sides are going to be supplied and the plunger will stay in the middle then we shall have the output so that's um control using and so now what is um the control using not logic basically this is um the yes logic if you might say because uh, when we are using the normal closed dcv so it's a yes logic because for the cylinder to extend we have to apply a signal here we are going to change the dcv and then we are going to change this to become normal open like that so this time no signal here but the cylinder is extended so this is not logic if we press here now the cylinder will return back you understand the difference between not logic and the yes logic not logic just when we use normal open dcv thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my youtube channel for further videos like the videos share with your friends and don't miss part number three bye bye